So much loading. So many. Yeah, the loading times are fairly long in this game, but it's not too bad considering. Oh, there's a there's another crash. Good sinking. Mm, lovely. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> so I'm going to apologise in advance for any double audio that you can hear because there's a chance there will be some. Um, because that's just how I'm going to have to edit this. But that said, I don't care too much. <laughs> I don't care that much. But yeah, that's that's just how it's going to have to be. So Emil can hear. Because he needs to hear. This area is surprisingly laggy. <laughs> oh, when did I get that? Um, is that is that what the teensies just gave you? Um, maybe. I. No, oh yeah, it did yeah yeah the teensies did. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Yeah, I completely forgot. I think this area is literally never ending. I don't think they ever stop coming out of there, so I'm just gonna stop. So I was um I was watching the Pokemon movies again recently because they're awesome. Um, Sweet. Uh, have you seen many of them? No, I've only seen the first two, I think. Oh, okay. Because um yeah, I think because I I think they're good. My favorite, I've got I don't know, I think I've got three favorites. Uh, it's a joint win. Uh, two, one of them technically isn't a movie. One of them's a special because uh, Mewtwo Returns is basically a sequel to the first movie. Um, a TV special thing, but it was an hour long, so it's not technically a movie, but it is. Um, and it is so good. <laughs> um, and the, uh, so that one. Then there's the third movie, which is um, with Entei, and Entei's pretty cool. Um, and the, it's just all around awesome. Then the fifth one with Latios and Latias, which has um, a very interesting ending, because Ash gets kissed by someone. Um, no, but hey, is it Pikachu? No, it's um, a girl called Bianca. Um, Wait, are you sure it's not Jinx? No, well, the thing is, um, Latios um, can turn into um, a human, and it's the version of Bianca, and at the end they're just like, Wait, but who kissed him? Was it Bianca or Latios? And I think, I find after years, after I watched it, I think I finally figured it out. But, and there's, uh, there's one hint throughout the entire film, Film, which gives it away. Bianca always wears um, an artist's hat, and um, Latios doesn't. At the end, there's no hat, uh, so it's Latios. So there's bestiality. Yeah, wonderful. <laughs> cool. <laughs> it's what we all like to see. Movies need bestiality. Indeed. I think after this level, we'll have us. We'll stop the recording because it's insane how much this is crashing on me. <laughs> I think it's more just like during loading screens. Well, oh. you could even cut out all the loading screens. Oh, I could do, but... That would that... make it a significantly shorter Let's Play. That would cut out all our audio. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> Am I right in thinking we can't complete this level the first time round? Um... So I swear there's something we can't do until we have Globox's yeah. magical... Oh, yeah, 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 thing. <laughs> I like to think that's a good example of what he sounds like. Pretty much is. I love the piranhas. <laughs> Are they in every game? Um, maybe. Don't think they're in the new ones. No, I don't think they are. Are they in free? Yep, they're in the swamp. But they've got like metal jaws. They're yes. also in them completely yes. forests. Yeah, they are. Maybe, yeah. Maybe they are. Maybe they are in Origins. We missed it. I mean, there's not a lot of consistencies in Rayman, I've got to say. Well, I mean, technically, Origins is like a reboot. I don't know, though. Like, it was weird, because the trailer made it seem like it was, like, a prequel. Yeah. But then, later on, they said it wasn't a prequel. And it was oh, called God. Rayman or War... Fail. It was called <laughs> Rayman Origins, because it just um, hinted at the origins of Rayman, which it didn't really do anyway. Yeah. <laughs> but it was still a brilliant game, so... Hello, I'm so glad I decided to go down here. <laughs> think I found some secrets. So falling was a good thing. That was to totally on purpose. Definitely did that. Um, mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So if, if anyone out there is watching this on a high up platform, just fall. It'll be great. 
Yeah, uh, sometimes it works. Um, if there's nothing down there, maybe don't do that, because you'll probably die, but it, uh, it wouldn't hurt. No, give it a go. <laughs> In the game, not real life. Don't. God, don't. <laughs> Please, God, no. I was meaning in real life. Oh, okay. Is, is that advised? Hmm, I suppose not. Oh, yeah, I forgot you can go up here from this way. Okay. That's nice. I don't think that was there in the original. Oh, God, my leg's gone dead. Sure, sure. <laughs> Thank you, Glowbox Twins. Thank you, indeed. Whee! Epic slides. Yeah, there isn't enough in this game. <laughs> There's a level which is an entire epic slide. Is it? Oh, is that the final one? You... Uh, oh yeah, two levels then. What was the one you were talking about? Uh, the Sanctuary of Water and Ice. Is that what it's called? Oh yeah! Oh but my it's god. Not the, it's not the entire level, is it? Pretty much. My <laughs> leg's gone completely dead. <laughs> it's gone really tingly. I thought uh, it was just the end of the level, getting to the boss. Uh, oh yeah, there is a bit of the start. Yeah, there's a beach area. In the original, I think, um, in the original, it was, uh, not the original, sorry, the PS1 version, um, it, the, the beach level section doesn't exist, it's actually um, just the uh, um, whale level at the front of it. Is it? Yeah, in the PS1 version, I'm pretty sure. It's the whale level instead. I don't know why they changed it so much, but... They did. So there's, so there's going to be so much to show in the PS1 version because there are yeah. so many differences. It's actually ridiculous. Which is actually pretty good, really. Yeah, I mean, oh, it just recycled the game. Because uh, the a lot of people say that the PS1 version is the worst version, um, and I disagree because I think it has a lot of cool different uh, features to it that isn't here. Hey, look, there's that whale. <laughs> so, what's your favorite? All right, we'll, we'll do different categories. What level you think's your f what your favorite, your least favorite, and you, what you think's the hardest? My favorite is probably I can't remember what it's called. It's near the end. It's where you fight the final guardian and get the final mask. Oh yes. Do you actually fight a guardian there? Yeah, you do. I think it's I up in the sky somewhere. Yeah. It, wait. Oh yeah, you do. Uh, that's not in the one version. Too. That boss isn't in the PS1 version, it's literally just, um, flick all the switches in the, uh, on that place, and then, um, and yeah, and then you get the mask, like, a door opens and the mask's there. You don't actually fight a boss to get it, I'm pretty sure. Oh. I think so. Prob what, why, what's your favourite? Um, probably the precipice. That's yeah, the level where you're good. chasing the pirate ship. Yeah. And everything's moving and dying, and it's so awesome. <laughs> Just everything about it. I do like the last level, though. Yeah, so do I, but I still don't think it's my favourite. Yeah, yeah. I think, what was the next question? Least favourite. Oh, probably one of the ones with the spiders. They're just so terrifying. Oh, God, yeah. That would be, that's the Glowbox level, isn't it? Oh, oh Tomb of the Ancients. Oh, Tomb of the Ancients, yeah, with the zombie oh, chickens. It's just terrifying. It's too scary for me. And the Cave of Bad Dreams isn't? <laughs> well, the Cave of Bad Dreams is a bit terrifying, but it's also glorious. So. It is, yeah. It's a great level. There's, um... Oh, which one is it? The, uh... I don't know if least, least... I don't know what my least favourite is. I really don't. It seriously is the load and save screens. That's what's screwing up the recording. I don't know what it is about them. <laughs> Certainly they didn't exist. <laughs> Probably my least favourite would have to be um, just the Woods of Light, because it's just so short. What one's that? I don't remember that. The first one. The tutorial level. Oh, right, I see. Yes. Okay. Actually, I know what my least favourite is. It's the one where you're controlling the pirate ship and you have to save the glow boxes. What? That one's awesome. It's so difficult, though. <laughs> but it's really cool. It, it kind of is. <laughs> It ruins the experience of it by being overly difficult for no reason, <laughs> but I can see why. I think my the hardest level in the game is probably one of the sanctuaries. 
Oh yeah, the sanctuaries are pretty difficult. It's the it's the ones in World Three. The fire. No, it's the second one. It's the one where you have to ride on that bloody plum. No. Oh god, yeah. No, I hate that level so much. <laughs> well, when you get the power like later on in the game. Oh, you the infinite flight. Just helicopter over yeah. the entire thing. That's great. I like that a lot. Which is really good to get. It's reminiscent of Rayman One, isn't it? Because you get that in Rayman One. Yeah. I can't remember who you get it by. I know there's there's Tay Rayman Zan or something. <laughs> Tay Zonday. Yes, that guy. Yeah, with uh, chocolate rain. He gives you chocolate rain and you can plant seeds. I think the stoner gives you the flying potion, doesn't he? Yeah. Ah, Tig. Tig. <laughs> So, so I, I ended up doing that in the final video, just as a, as a reference to you. <laughs> it's oh, awesome. Such a such a cool game. Never done that in video games before. It's, it's oh, I literally do it in every video game I can. Overwhelmingly fun <laughs> when I'm doing it with pigs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you need the bow. That's right. Do you know what the best power-up in the game is? The one which makes you walk faster with this thing. Yeah, I know. This thing is so slow. <laughs> well, that was awesome. <laughs> that was an awesome jingle. Yeah, uh, the jingles in this game are good. Mm, same with in Rayman 3. I still, oh, yeah. I prefer Rayman 3 to this, but this is such a good game. Yeah, it's, it's difficult because they are also good, but mm. I think Rayman 3 just has a lot of fun things in it. Yeah. I would have... I would have liked to see the um, the original Rayman 2 of this game, because or, or just like be a small version of it, if more than the demo, because it's just it was a really interesting idea. What that what they did with it, it's sort of like Rayman, but not right, it is Rayman. But you know, it's it's sort of like um, uh, Rayman Origins sort of in design a little bit, but yeah, <laughs> it, it looks really good. I, I do want in the future to see the Kanarans make a return. That'd be great. Yeah, I wish in Origins there was like more references to like previous games. Mm. If you were awesome if you could see like one of the Doctor's places from Rayman 3 in the background somewhere. Yeah, I mean in uh, Legends there's a few references. The bombs are um, the same bombs from Razorbeard's ship. Oh, awesome. So there are a few, which is good. But yeah, the Kanarans would be great, because the Kanarans are just so terrifying. Yeah. Oh, I really want to play Rayman 3 now. <laughs> I would challenge you to a Rayman 3 race, but I'm pretty sure you'd win. Well, you don't know that. I I haven't played it in a while. But, yeah, just as long as it's the PS2 version, not not doing any of that stupid PS, um, <laughs> PS3 HD remake for God, no. <laughs> that remake is really bad. Well, it's not bad, it's just it's nowhere near as good as the PS2 version. Yeah, PS2 like, you, version you is pretty You good. have the PS2 version, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a working PS2? Yeah. I you don't know if I can record PS2. Yeah, though. yeah, you can. Uh, oh, wait, no, you can't. Wait, no, it doesn't have a HDMI thing, does it? Uh, it, it comes with component cables, though, I think. Oh, does it? I'm, I'm not... I mean, there must be a way of changing HDMI to component. There must be a HDMI to component cable you can get. Can you not... Uh, I don't know. I'm sure there is. 